So it's been nearly three hours of this, and the sky is good, and clouds over there, but they haven't been affecting us. And uh, it hasn't worked that great, to be honest. Um, but I have some reasons. So it's got uh, warped a bit. Anyway, it's at 80 degrees centigrade. It is. I think there's seven liters in the pot. I'm going to measure it after. Anyway, it's full, and it hasn't boiled off. But you can see there's a little cup of water there that steamed off of it. So in five minutes, it's three hours. It's 80 degrees, right? 79 or 80. And um, here's one of the reasons I didn't have it as good as I would have liked. Is that focus is more in there if you can see in my hand I think this mm -hmm. pot should be maybe 10 centimeters oh 10 centimeters this way so that's um, just a major mistake for the day is that uh, yeah uh, the other thing I want to show you is two other things I want to show you. I might as well show you the bees. There's a birdie. Um, so I set up this platform, this equatorial platform, uh, three or four hours ago. Um, I'm just going to show you. Let's get this to here. It's a. Uh, it's moved a tiny bit. Three degrees, and uh, you bring it flat to the thing, and you just turn it. And if this, if it's correct, this will go to a dot. See, like uh, so, it's it's correct. It means it's correctly aimed, because with this, uh, sorry, this declination angle. Uh, the sun has moved that much and it's still exactly pointing at. And that means that you can stick your um, your rotating mount on top and it can follow the sun all day, any day of the year. Now here's, uh, here's my little bee thing. I think that guy is hunting spiders, but I'm not sure. But uh, there's some bees. Um, here's my other bee thing. So this got whatever 20, 25,000 views on Instructables. Um, these little bee blocks. So um, none gone in right now, but there was some. So the bees are using them this year as well. And this is the first hot day of the year, really. Oops. Uh, I don't know if you can see. There's one blocked off here. Closed off completely. This one is closed off with, oh, this is some other type of bee. I haven't seen that one before, actually. This one is closed off. This one is closed off. This one is closed off. So there's been quite a lot of bee activity this year. Um, that I didn't even see. Um, these guys, if you can see the flies flying around them. Um, oh, you can't really. There's a couple. See, there's one. Oh, he didn't go in. But they're, they're buzzing around right now, I guess mating or whatever. There's one down there. There's uh, some flies on top. Mm. Well, uh, I saw them going in there, there anyway. And there was a um, carter bee there. There's, um, oh, excuse me. Anyway, I'm not going to spend all day doing this. So, oh, there's a couple. There, there we go. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. There's one gone in. It's gone into a, I don't know, that's still probably. There's a, a jumping spider on the ground. So he, he likes bees too. There's a bee going in. So, so this is a really important part of um, habitat provision. 
that anyone can do like you just uh, so there's the holes and there's holes in the cob as well uh, and we're back here again so you can just see um, there this is just part of life there's jumping spiders and the night like bees should know two ways about it but the bees they, they here's a bee coming out oh anyway that's it oh here's a this is a tartar bee looks like a wasp but it's a bee anyway i'll leave it at that thank you bye